several decades ago, the U.S. government says, you know, if we work with the CCP, we can change the CCP into a democracy. It didn't happen. America did not change the CCP. The CCP changed America. There are several issues here. Yeah. One, there's obviously the huge national security issue. Secondly, is the amount of land and the amount of farmland that have been purchased by China, which then becomes a national security issue as far as food is concerned. We have no idea what's been going on with the balloon situation and what kind of threats we've had. This is a crazy time. We don't know what's happening, but we need strong leaders who can produce policy who are going to change these things. If you became successful in your bid for the U.S. Senate, what would you do to stop the CCP? So there's uh, several issues. One is the opioid epidemic. We have so much fentanyl that's originating out of China that's killing so many people across this nation. So just by closing off the border to stop the movement of those drugs would stop the destruction of the families here. That's a big issue as far as China is concerned. And no one ever seems to address the issue with land being bought by foreign outside influences. And that really needs to be addressed. Economically speaking, we ended up having too much trade with China, which then resulted in Americans not having jobs and a lot of our small towns shutting down. So we have to go back to better trade deals where the American people are not suffering and China is benefiting. Another national security issue is the spread of China globally. Africa, for example, is being taken over by China and their resources. And so we need to step in in U.S. policy and foreign policy to halt the movement and the strength that China is gaining. Because again, it's a national security issue. They're going to have resources and we're going to have to keep paying China in order to access those. So something has to be looked at in Africa. So will you stand with the NFSC to take down the CCP? I completely stand with all of you all and you will always have a voice with me and my office door will always be open. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by.